So today we're having a look at the Maxtrack Superior Blower. It's quite lightweight and compact and uh, has a handle that folds away. So we've got the wire there that we need to put onto the battery. But before we do that, let's have a look underneath. We've got these adjustable tabs and they can be moved in and out to suit different size chimneys. So you move them into the chimney that suits your locomotive tighten up the bolts and away you go. And in addition to that you've also got a damper which comes across here so you, you can use that to reduce the flow of air if you want. And once it's uh, established to the correct size tighten up the bolts, connect up the motor and this is the speed control on the top. So you can start the fire fairly slowly draw it through and then wind it right up when you want a bit more puff. Suitable for larger locomotives and traction engines. So just to demonstrate the pull on this fan, we'll start her up. nice big fire hole so you can see the fire well basically after I've done the charcoal now I'm just covering every hole that I can trying to get some coal into every part that's lit Shut that door. the beauty of this blower is you can just turn it up and down very easily so if it's a bit fierce you just turn it down and if you want to speed it up a bit conveniently placed just by your fingers. You turn it up and down so it's absolutely flying now. Probably pull the coal off the fire. So here's the superior blower ready to light up the austerity. I've moved the um, little um, tabs in underneath so as to get it to fit the chimney. In it goes like so, we're connected up. So now we'll light up and then we can just turn her on. Make sure she's going. Yeah, there we are. So the light inside, let's get the fan on. Fire's roaring away quite nicely. So maybe we can turn the blower up a little bit. Right, the magic moment when we put the loco's own blower on. 